Sophia, I want to organize some data in Word. Bullets do not help as there are many categories. What should I do? Word allows you to make tables so that you can organize your work. Tables? How to make tables in Word 2016? Please tell me about this. Sure, Romy. Let us learn about this in the chapter. Well-organized data and information is much easier to read and understand than unorganized data and information. A table helps us to organize data and information. A table is a structure with many rectangular boxes called cells, aligned horizontally and vertically. Vertically arranged cells are called columns, while horizontally arranged cells are called rows. Each cell of a table can be formatted as per our requirement and can contain any text or graphics. The table shown below shows the name, class, weight and height of some players of a school hockey team. Creating a table To create a table in a Word document, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Open a blank Word document. Step 2. Place the cursor where we want to insert the table. Step 3. Click on the table option in the tables group on the insert tab. A grid will be displayed. When we hover the mouse over the grid cells, it shows a table which is supposed to appear in the document. We can make a table with any number of rows and columns. Step 4. Click on the square representing the lower right corner of the table which will create an actual table in the document. Or, step 1. Click on the insert tab and in the tables group, click on the table option. Step 2. In the drop down menu, click on the insert table. An insert table dialog box will appear. Step 3. Enter the number of rows and columns we want to insert in a table. Step 4. Click on the OK button. A table of required rows and columns will be created. Or, Step 1. Click on the Insert tab and in the Tables group, click on the Table option. Step 2. In the drop-down menu, click on the Quick Tables. Some table templates will appear. Step 3. Select the table template as per the need. The table template will appear at the required place in the Word document. Drawing a table. To draw a table, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Insert tab and in the Tables group, click on the Table option. Step 2. In the drop-down menu, click on the Draw table. The cursor will turn into a pencil. Step 3. Hold and drag the mouse at the place where we want to draw the table. Step 4. Draw the required number of rows and columns. A table is drawn and we can add the text in it accordingly. Entering data in a table. Data can also be entered into the table. After creating a table, move the cursor over to the first cell of the table. We can start typing the data using the keyboard. We can also use the arrow keys or the tab keys to move to another cell. Moving a table. Word 2016 allows us to move a table from one location to another, along with its data. Now we will learn how to move a table within the same document, though we can move a table from one document to another document also, using cut and paste operations. The steps to move a table within the same Word document are as follows. Step 1. Bring the mouse pointer over the table which we want to move from one location to another location. Bring the mouse pointer inside the table. A small cross arrow will appear at the top left corner of the table. Step 2. Click over the small cross arrow which will select the whole table. Step 3. Once table is selected, use the cut option or simply press Ctrl plus X keys to cut the table from its original location. Step 4. Bring the cursor at the location where we want to move the table and use the paste option or simply press Ctrl plus V keys to paste the table at the desired location. Resizing a table. 
Word 2016 allows us to resize a table to make it smaller and bigger as per our requirement. The steps to resize a table are as follows. Step 1. Bring the mouse pointer over the table which we want to resize. Bring the mouse pointer inside the table. A small resize handle will appear at the bottom right corner of the table. Step 2. Bring the mouse cursor over the resize handle till it changes to a diagonal double-sided arrow. Step 3. Press and hold left mouse button. Drag the table to make it shorter or longer. We can also drag the table diagonally to simultaneously change both the width and height of the table. Modifying a table. We can modify a table by adding a row or column anywhere in the table. Deleting a row or column splitting and merging cells in a table. Let us learn about these. Adding a row. The steps to add rows in a table of a Word document are as follows. Step 1. Click on a row where we want to add an additional row. We will notice that under the Tables tool tab, Design and Layout tabs will appear. Now click on the Layout tab. Step 2. Now use Rows and Columns group to add any row below or above to the selected row. Step 3. Click on the Insert Below option if you want to add a row just below the selected row and click on the Insert Above option if you want to add a row just above the selected row. Deleting a row. The steps to delete rows from a table of a Word document are as follows. Step 1. Click on the row which we want to delete from the table and then click on the Layout tab. Step 2. Click on the Delete option in the Rows and Columns group. Click on the Delete Rows option in the Delete menu to delete the selected row. Adding a Column The steps to add columns in a table of a Word document are as follows. Step 1. Click on the column where we want to add an additional column and then click on the Layout tab. Step 2. Now use Rows and Columns group to add any column left or right to the selected column. Step 3. Click on Insert Left option if we want to add a column just left to the selected column. Or click on the Insert Right option if we want to add a column just right to the selected column. The column will get inserted. Deleting a column. The steps to delete columns from a table of a Word document are as follows. Step 1. Click on the column which we want to delete from the table and then click on the Layout tab. Step 2. Click on the Delete Columns option under the Delete option in the Rows and Columns group to delete the selected column. Merging the Cells Word 2016 allows us to merge two or more cells to create one big cell. We frequently need to merge columns of the top row to create title of the table. We can merge cells either row-wise or column-wise, but cannot merge cells diagonally. Let us learn how to merge multiple rows or columns. The steps to merge table cells in a Word document are as follows. Step 1. Bring the mouse cursor inside the first cell we want to merge. Step 2. Now press the Shift key and click around the cells which we want to merge into the first cell. This will highlight the cells ready to be merged. Step 3. Now click on the Layout tab and then click on the Merge cells in the Merge group which will merge all the selected cells. Table Heading To provide a table heading, merge the first row to a big cell. Now, we can use this cell to write the title or description of the table. In case the first row of cells has some data with it, the data will get scrambled on merging. We can align the title as per our requirement. Splitting a table Sometimes there is a situation when we would like to split an existing table into two or more tables. MS Word allows splitting a table into multiple tables, but a single operation will always divide a table into two tables. Let us learn how to split a table into two smaller tables. The steps to split a table into two tables in a Word document are as follows. Step 1. Bring the mouse cursor anywhere in the row that should appear as first row of the new table. Step 2. Now click on the Layout tab. Step 3. 
Then click on the split table option in the merge group which will split the table into two tables and selected row will become the first row of the lower table. The table will split into two tables. Formatting a table. Changing the appearance of text is called formatting. You can format the entire table using the table styles feature present in the design tab. Applying the style. The steps to apply styles to table are as follows. Step 1. Bring the mouse cursor anywhere in the table. Step 2. Click on the design tab present under the table tools. Step 3. Then click on the desired style in the table style group. When we hover the mouse pointer over a style, the table displays the style. This will help to decide a good style for the table. Step 4. Click on the More button to see more styles. Changing the row height. The steps to change the row height are as follows. Step 1. Click on the rows whose height we want to change. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab present under the Table Tools. Step 3. Then go to the Table Row Height option in the Cell Size group. Step 4. Now use the upper and lower scroll box to change the height of rows. We can also fill the height in numbers in the table row height option. Changing the column width. The steps to change the column width are as follows. Step 1. Click on the columns whose width we want to change. Step 2. Click on the layout tab present under the table tools. Step 3. Then go to the table column width option in the cell size group. Step 4. Now, use the upper and lower scroll box to change the width of columns. We can also fill the width in numbers in the table column width option. Changing the alignment. The steps to change the text alignment are as follows. Step 1. Select the cells whose alignment we want to change. Step 2. Click on the layout tab present under the table tools. Step 3. Then go to the alignment group. Step 4. Now click on the alignment we want to apply on the text. The text will get aligned as per our selection. Dictionary Table A table is a graphical presentation of many rectangular boxes called cells that are aligned horizontally and vertically. Rows The horizontally arranged cells are called rows. Columns The vertically arranged cells are called columns. Merging Combining two or more cells to create one big cell. Let's refresh. Table is a structure of many cells arranged horizontally and vertically. Word 2016 allows us to insert a table of any rows and columns to our text document. We can enter any data in one cell. We can perform many tasks on tables like resizing, moving, deleting, merging and splitting etc. We can format the entire table using the table styles feature present in the design tab.